So we're here in my favorite place, the great outdoors, and I'm so excited to see what we can do with the quickie here. Well, today I went out this morning, of course, did a little fishing, and I caught a couple of these nice rainbow trout. So proud of you. Awesome. And we're gonna cook these up fresh. Now, the great thing about the quickie pan is we have the outdoor burner also available. So here's a real cool thing, especially if you're camping, if you're on a boat, if you're gonna be doing any outdoor cooking, um, this has a really cool feature here. Now, you're just gonna take your butane can, like so, and of course you can buy these just almost anywhere. You put it inside, like so. I'm just gonna lower that, that locks that into place. Yeah. So that that's not gonna leak. You're not gonna have any uh, gas pouring out. Once yeah. that's locked in, it's ready to go. So here, now I'm gonna put this on, and I'll tell you what, if you are a fisherman, whether it's trout or bass, or if you're out in the middle of the ocean fishing and catching halibut or uh, dorado, that's mahi-mahi or whatnot, uh, this is such a wonderful thing you can cook wherever you are. Now, first thing I'm gonna do though, is start off and, now here's the thing, it's up to you if you wanna use oil or not. I like to use just a little bit of oil, uh, just it gives us also a nice crispiness on that fish and a little bit of flavor. If you don't want to oil, if you're trying to cut that, that's fine. You can even use butter. Uh, like if, the, for a lot of French recipes, they use butter instead of oil, or both. So let me just put some onions in here and peppers, okay? And then we're gonna just start off and sort of get these nice and caramelized, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is always like to start this off. I'm gonna close that and that's just gonna cook that real nice and fast. Give that little thing shake up around like that and let that cook. Okay, wonderful. Okay. So what I have over here is some frozen cod. It's nicely seasoned. So if we're not as lucky as you, we can't go fishing when we wake up in the morning, <laughs> then we can just have a frozen option. So let's see how easy this is to use. There we go. It's on. Success. So it wasn't that hard. <laughs> Okay, so we'll open her up. See me, because I'm doing the ultra healthy version, I'm not putting any butter or oil down because I just don't need it. This in. Mm-hmm. And that's an already just ready to go out of a packet, real simple. Yeah. Yeah. So you could take that, put it in there and just cook that on the picnic table. If you're having like a family picnic or people around, even if you're at a park, you know, a lot of times we get yep. together at a park and uh, for, parties, quinceañeras, yep. things like that's always fun. So if we're doing a little party outside, I can just pretend that I went fishing early morning like you. That's right. I tell my guests <laughs> to come just a little bit later. I've already got the fish prepared. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just shut it, let it start cooking. Right, and remember when you shut that, uh, what that's gonna do is that's gonna actually steam the fish while it's searing the outside. Oh wow. So that's why we can go from frozen to, to fabulous, fabulous in about in Four minutes. <laughs> Four minutes, five minutes away. Yeah. A little longer with the fish, maybe. Yeah, if you're doing that. Okay, so now I've just started these off, and I've just sort of started a nice little sear. You can see my pan here. And these are just starting to sweat. So before they get completely cooked, I just like to always start off peppers and onions first, because um, I personally like to sweat them down. Now, from here, I'm just gonna take my fish, okay, and put this inside here, there's one right there. And because it's 12 inches, it actually fits the whole fish. Inside, that's right, so it'll fish it. I'm gonna just beautiful. move these over here to this side. Don't have to worry about the fish hanging out the sides. That's right there, right. And this is a, 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 tw a 12 inch pan, so there you go. And let me just put this guy in this way here. Wow, okay. they both fit in so easily. They both fit in there, and that's okay if that tail, that'll just lock right in there. I'm gonna close this and just let the That's quickie amazing. pan do all the work from there. That's amazing that you can just seal it in like that. And what's nice here too is is if you have anything, put that little piece of uh, onion back in there, is you can always give it a little bit of slide like that too. Yeah, Without having around. to open it up. Yeah, just to sort of mix it around. Okay? It's really sealing on all the flavors. And we're gonna let that cook. And while that's searing the side, it's also steaming that trout in there. So you're gonna get all the flavor. So you don't have to worry about oh. having raw fish in the middle. Yeah, and the cool thing is too, you know what I forgot? I forgot to add salt and pepper. So it's okay, just open this up. No this way you deal. can just add things in here. Don't forget to salt and pepper that, right? Yeah. That's really important for that fish flavor. Pack that on there right there. I already did so. all my preparing earlier, so my fish is good to go. <laughs> Here's a little bit of salt. There's a little bit of pepper on there. Let me pepper that guy up, okay? And then we'll flip it over and I'm gonna salt and pepper the other side as well. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. You don't have to there. worry about actually 
turning it over. There you go. Okay. Just flip it and, it's and let's let that cook, and then yours should be about what? How are you doing over here? About ready yeah, to flip? it seems it pre seems pretty good. Should I keep it on this high setting, or should I turn it down? Because there's a lot of different settings here. Yeah, you know, it depends on what you're cooking. If it takes longer to cook in the middle, turn it down to say a medium setting. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it. To the medium if you want to get now. like a really hot pan and sear a steak, then use it on the high setting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. So I think I'm gonna turn it over yeah, now. Yeah, flip it over. Yep. My favorite part. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And Beautiful. you can have a look, open it up, and just see how it's looking. Just to kind of eyeball it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yep. nicely defrosted. All the flavors are simmering in there nicely. And that's the great thing, too, is because it's a pan and a pan, two pans, you can flip it, flip it, flip it, so you don't burn one side while it's still cold in the middle. Yeah. That way you can kind of just keep cooking it nice and evenly, especially if you're yeah. cooking in an outdoor setting on an open flame. Yeah, this right. is brilliant. And you can also remember it use this on a barbecue as well. Really? Right on top of a barbecue, right. So if you don't have your gas burner, this is fine. Stick it right on top of a barbecue, that's on a so charcoal handy. grill, on a gas oven, that's fine. Um, it's so versatile. Right, and then you can also flip it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and flip mine over. Because it's heavy duty, isn't it? It has the heavy duty die cast aluminum. That's right. Yeah. Our, in America, we say aluminum. <laughs> aluminum to me. That's all right. <laughs> and then here, let me flip this over and kind of see. Now you can see already, this is just starting to brown a little bit. It's looking I've got and my smelling. peppers, my onions. I'm gonna go ahead and just move these peppers around there. You can stuff them if you want. Start stuffing those inside. That's looking and that smelling fish so like good. so. See there, that's always a really cool thing. So again, you're allowed, to, this allows you to open it up Go back, make little adjustments. This I'm gonna salt and pepper this side over here. Okay, salt that, maybe get a little pat on there. Okay. And because it is sealed with this, I feel like the flavor of the vegetables that you're putting with it, it's gonna make it even stronger because you're not letting all those flavors out. That's right, correct, right. And it is also, instead of all the steam just going up into the, the atmosphere, it's locking inside. So it's gonna yeah. cook that fish inside while it sears the outside. Now let me just lock this and we're gonna just keep letting that cook. Again, every once in a while if you want, just give that a little shake and keep that stirred yeah. fresh, okay? And now remember, if you were out on oh, your boat, it looks so good. look at that, that is looking great. It smells amazing. Right, if you have a boat or you're camping or maybe an RV, and this is such a great cooking system here for outdoors. I mean, whether you're up hiking somewhere, maybe you've got some steaks of venison or elk, this way you can cook it right wherever you are. Fresh. Yeah, for fresh, you don't need electricity. All you need is a little space and just the will to cook <laughs> and a good appetite. All you need is just a little space for a quickie. Don't forget this, if you're cooking outdoors, you can see we've got some flies around here. <laughs> it keeps the bugs out of your food. That's very handy in Australia because we have a lot of flies there in the outback. So this would be perfect. Yeah, it's, it's we're always doing the fly dance in Australia, always. Right, right, right. And also when you go to plate this too, there is also the lid that you can put on top and that'll oh, yeah. keep the flies out and also keep the heat locked in. We need that. Right, okay. So let's see where we're at. Let me just kind of open this up and that's coming along so nice oh, there. I can't wait to try that. Let that cook a little bit. Oh, that's right, because you are a pescatarian. I am, correct? so I, I do love my fish. So you eat fish, yep. uh, just not land. land no. Land. All right. Okay. So let me just go ahead and flip this guy over here. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook on that side. And again, keep flipping, flipping until it's ready to go. How's yep. yours looking? It's looking good. Look at all those Ooh. juices coming out too. Ooh, that's looking fantastic. It does. A little bit longer there, it. and that's gonna be ready to go. Awesome. Yeah, and I never know how to cook fish either. I feel like fish is something at home that I really struggle with cooking uh -huh. because I never know if it's cooked enough, if it's even, if I need it in longer or less amount of time. Well, what's nice though is if you want to check your fish, there's a really easy way is you can kind of come here and just sort of press on that. And if that starts to see how that just starts to fall apart there. Oh yeah, it's and if, juicy. If that, then that's about ready to go. Right? Okay. So this is almost ready to go here. I'm just gonna move these around here. Okay, and these are just looking fantastic. There you go. And again, don't worry. Uh, if you need more time, you can open this up, move things around. I'm gonna grab these little onions that fell out there. Yeah, it's nice that it has this little catcher here so you're not gonna lose anything on the ground. That's right. So, that's so right. if you're not a chef like me and you don't really know what to do with your quickie, here's an amazing cookbook. It has all the recipes that we've been cooking with. I personally love the lemon salmon. So you can check this out. We have, what, 50 recipes in here? 
Yeah, in the Quickie Cookbook, you're gonna get 50 recipes. It'll show you different flavors from, gosh, homemade pizzas to, yeah, cooked fish to desserts. To it makes it so handy, because I'm not like you. I don't know how to just whip up a meal, so if I have a little cookbook with my Quickie, then that'll make life so much easier. Okay, okay. Too. I think this is about done here. So let me just turn mine off. I don't know if you want to turn yours off, too. And remember, when you turn it off, pull that lever up right there, and that way that shuts off the canister. Okay. So there's no more gas. There's nothing leaking. It's totally right. uh, done, done cooking. And here we go. So I'm ready for the big reveal? Mine first. Here, how about okay. this? Look at that. Oh, that looks divine. From the stream right to the quickie pan. I mean, that wow. is so good. Peppers and onions and all that flavor. A little bit of oil just gave me that nice sort of um, crispy skin on there that I love. Yeah. Just so good. Okay, let me close this. I'm gonna get keep that, that nice and warm. Okay. And this is straight from the freezer to the pan. <laughs> Fresh. Wow. <laughs> this looks really good too, though. Oh my gosh. That I'm, looks I'm like quite impressed. Is mine. I don't know which one I'd rather eat. I have to give it to you. All right, either That's way. That's pretty impressive. Well, bon appetit here. You want to just plate that up and let's get to eating. Yes. All right. My favorite part. So let's compare them. Whose right. <laughs> who's looks better? I'll tell you what. I mean, there is nothing wrong with what that plate there, but there's something so satisfying about catching a fish yourself and cooking it that same day. You know where it came from. It is your catch and it always tastes better. Okay. I tell you, when you prepare yourself. I have to give it to him. Yeah, he did a good job. But in case you don't have time to go catch a fish in the morning to have for lunch, there's also the frozen version. So this might not be fresh out of the stream. It is fresh out of a freezer though. <laughs> so let's give it a shot. Oh my goodness. Is, is that good? Because of the way the quickie pan traps in all that moisture and all that heat, it is just perfect for cooking fish. So if you're afraid of cooking fish, try the quickie okay. pan and you won't go wrong. You'll love it. I'm not afraid of fish anymore. <laughs> <laughs>